Hi ninjas, how are you doing? It's your girl, oh, I'm Inishwa Zauru, and welcome back to my channel. Um, if it's your first time joining me, I'm almost definitely welcome. Please do make sure that you subscribe, no obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you. Um, and also please do make sure that you follow me on all my other social media platforms. Um, it's Bodlo Wami, and they will all also be linked in the description box down below. So please do please follow me on Instagram as well. Please, you know. Um, but anyway, I do actually have Ray. Ray is actually here. He's sitting over there. So if you guys see a movement, that is that little boy. Okay. I can't, I mean, I was thinking about it, you know, to kind of tie him to a chair, but <laughs> I think it's illegal and I can't do that. So basically, um, yeah. And obviously you guys can see I'm not in the studio. I'm actually shooting at the comfort of my home. Um, yeah, the festive seasons are here and I think I also do need to say I apologize guys I know that the episodes of to hell and back have been scarce. It has just been wild Um, some of you may know I did have my master class. Um this past weekend. So yeah to say i'm exhausted is just An understatement. I'm not even going to lie and especially because after that I have been working, you know It's just been crazy. So I am sorry that the episodes have not been coming the way that they're supposed to come Um, but at least today you guys will get a video and I feel like this is still an extension of to hell and back And I will explain but i'm sure you guys have already seen like the title of this video so, um, I want to just go ahead and start off by addressing this guys like I feel like there are certain people that are um, xenophobic that feel like maybe this is the comfort this is the comfort this is the place where they can come and spew their xen xenophobic remarks this is absolutely not the place i am a south african um and i'm an african so i love every african like every african is me i'm every african right um however the same way that i'm not going to appreciate and i'm gonna want like you know a south african that is a thief arrested is the same way we want a ugandan thief in south africa arrested the same way we want is a nigerian you know a, a, a Congolese, a Tanzanian thief arrested. The same way as I'm saying that I would want a South African thief arrested. I know that there are people that are like me, that are not xenophobic whatsoever, but we cannot also just sit down and look at all this craziness that is actually happening in our country. We do not appreciate it. You being a foreigner in South Africa and us opening our arms for you guys to actually be here so that we can live cordially together and then some of you guys actually choose to betray us in this way. That is just absolutely disgusting and unacceptable and when we speak up it's not us being xenophobic this is us basically saying listen let's live together in harmony like go out there and work like stop being a lazy stupid idiot anyway um obviously you guys can see that i'm a bit upset but anyway you know um so i'm gonna go ahead and just say that guys um whew, ciao. this is a lot um, for some of you guys that don't know, sort of like almost like a background, uh, yeah, 2021, I almost got love scammed, I should say, um, by a Congolese guy. So he wanted 350,000 rand, thank God that I had already caught on, um, but he had gotten 2k, but I did get my money back plus a thousand extra, you know, cause I did not play. I was making videos, them Paul Paul were on those guys tail okay and i think that it was also just that thing of 2000 is not really a lot of money and i was causing a lot of trouble for him got 2000 rest. so i think he was like ah, let me just give this girl her 2000 and and let it go but do i think that he would have been as cooperative if i had like given him 350,000 rest? absolutely not what helped me it was the knowledge um because my cousin had actually warned me to say listen be careful of this guys you know this is what they do now and 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 so i'll forever be grateful to her honestly i don't think the guy would have gotten 350,000 rands for me definitely not but i i'm he might have gotten some money you know it's a whole mind game that you will not know unless you know and i think that that is one of the most craziest um things um and so when i made the story time obviously there are women that came out you know they would um actually like you know dm me and we'll talk and fight um when i started to helen back obviously to helen Beg is not only just about women that have been love scammed, guys. To Helen Beg is about different things. So even if you have a different story, you can actually contact me. I'm sure I'm gonna have the number somewhere. You can contact me, you can come and tell your story. However, I do I do find that obviously, um, ever since Jabu's story came out and it went viral, um, yeah, there's been a lot of women that have been coming out that are talking about how you know they were love scammed. Um, and of course, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it, you know, to raise awareness because for me, I just felt like the love scamming was there, but 
trust and believe guys like nothing could have prepared me for the level of love scamming that is actually happening in this country um you know i like child it's just wow it, it's crazy i don't even want to lie it's absolutely wild the stories that women have actually sent me in they are literally stuff that are nightmares are made of and i've seen that there's still a lot of women that are still embarrassed to come out and basically tell their stories which is why i've now created a platform where you can be able to share a story but stay anonymous you know the main point is to get the story out there and i want to also go ahead and say that the reason why i don't post this guy's pictures is number one obviously the poppy act i'm not allowed to legally i'm not is it fair a thousand percent not but that's the law in this country and again at the end of the day i also have to be a law abiding citizen so i can't post the pictures you know i do hope that soon there's gonna be like a group maybe on facebook or twitter that can just expose these guys you know um <laughs> i don't know by who but somebody that is not afraid of any consequences you know um but basically i i just have a feeling that you know soon i think if you are have opened a case and it's been taken and it's open you can actually post the person as a wanted person if they're wanted obviously but anyway ninjas obviously with that it has gained a lot of traction and i did get a guy guys that is from uganda that actually came out and detailed everything on top of everything that he detailed sent me an email i did actually uh, reply through the email and i asked hey would it be okay if i had a, a, a recorded phone uh interview with you and he basically said give me you know some time and then he came back and he said yes so hopefully fingers crossed he's not gonna change his mind um but for now what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna read to you guys the email that he sent me which guys when i tell you that when i was reading because i didn't read everything but the parts that i actually read ciao it just tied everything together like i had questions obviously you know i had questions but after this i was like oh my gosh it makes sense honestly it was like wow it makes sense so this and this and that and that um so the reason why i'm telling you guys that there will be like a telephonically recorded video is that as i'm reading this and um you know going into the video please if you have got any question like ask in the comment section so that i'll be able to like get those uh questions and then when i phone the guy or call the guy um then he i will be able to ask those questions as well right so i'm gonna go ahead and just read this email um and i'm not gonna say who it is obviously because the guy wants to stay anonymous and guys it's so hot so i think that i might actually be sweating like ciao so basically it says okay guys so i'm gonna go ahead and read i don't even want to lie guys the english that was used here your teeth i don't know why i don't know if this guy was just trying to impress me but say <laughs> hi bo <laughs> it's too much like yo guys i'm struggling here but anyway, let's, let me go ahead and try read this first for you guys. So it says, good day. Finally, the report is here and in full. Best believe you won't get a better and more concise report than this. The weight is worth the content. The preamble. Superstition in whatever comp um, complexion is a culture offset. I say so because it deviates from um, rationality and pays much credibility to inherited belief systems. I have seen from a very tender age adults saying stuff like use a wild rose flower to ward off evil spirit or even more bizarre, my sangoma is supernaturally gifted. Superstition is as inherently a human fiber as DNA is. Um, Ugandian Sangomas, traditional healers, herbalists, and prophets, etc. Et now, these people are, to begin with, body language experts, and their trade relies so much on that character. Call them pseudo uh, psychologists of some sort. Before they mesmerize you with sweet talk and comfort, you'd already have helped the situation by being naive, gullible, and superstitious. What? Um, whatever else they have to put you through is just a walk in the park as you'd already be half blind. There isn't any Ugandan with special powers to an extent of being able to summon ancestors or any occurrence out of the normal. Yeah, I have people in my house, my sister. So it's all lies and deception. A case in point, in one of your podcasts where you hosted a love scam victim, you alluded to the fact that these smooth criminals use muti. Right then, you tokenized the entire scam because clearly an average viewer would still be left to believe that these guys have some powers of some sort. Let's dig a little deeper. 
the tricky and more. I mean, the trickery, sorry, and more. Now here, pay attention. The, peer, the prayer room, there is the so-called ancestor's voice the victim hears but can't see is because they dig a horizontal hole or ditch in the floor, enough to accommodate a person. At prayer time and before the victim and swindler enter, an accomplice would enter the ditch and the other would then place a plank and cupboard, um, carpet so no one can see there is any um, uh, anomaly in the room. By the headside, they place a, a, a grass hut, aesthetic for traditional shrines. If they needed different voices coming from different areas in the room, they dig up more dishes um, to that effect and drape the entire room so as to visually fool the victim that indeed they um, couldn't be an extra person in the room. Another option is to build a partition parallel to the wall and leave an opening for one to enter through it. Um, two is, is also dripped and the entire room, the interior must be uniform. So the voices are of people, preferably of one that knows Zulu or Sutu Venek. Um, don't love here. Once upon a time, a victim randomly shot at where the voice was coming from. He killed the ancestor on the spot. As I said, guys, I didn't like read the whole, you know, but from what I saw, I was like, nah, this guy's onto something. I definitely need to. So, wow. So that's why he said, don't love here. Once upon a time, a victim randomly shot at where the voice was coming from. He killed the ancestor and it says ancestor in quotes on the spot. The magic. Your guest alluded to a snake and things um, embedded in a brand new coffee tin. If you want to learn the trick, do this. Go buy a whatever size snake from a pet shop or use whatever you think will scare the victim most. Buy glue and tinned coffee too. Find a rough surface, preferably concrete and uh, forcefully with two hands um, holding the tin in place wrap the tin against the surface until um its bottom develops an opening on the circumference using a knife now the bottom um, is facing up remove the lid reduce the coffee um to create space for the snake and then insert it carefully replace the lid and glue it back on and in no time it would have uh, dried up now back to the prayer room the victim would have been asked to bring a certain brand of coffee so when the victim places the tin in the hut or in any convenient position it will be switched with the one containing the snake and boom impact delivered and now closer to the bag yo guys so obviously after I read all this, I'm going to then obviously just put everything together and especially with the victims that I've spoken and those that have sent me their private stories just so that you guys can actually know what is actually going on. The bag. Usually fake money with a bit of real money on top is used to entice the victim that their ancestors have gifted them. Here, the box in which the victim places the money that they'd have brought in for mixing is switched for one without anything or just say trash. Sometimes they will give it to the victim to take home and instruct not to open it or um, together with the swindler, they will take it and throw it in the river. Victim thinking they just threw their money away. Tricks are so numerous. I would spend the whole day explaining each one. Um, chance for redemption. I once caught wind of a potential victim whom I happened to know because um, we went to the same gym. We were not friends and had never um, convoed before. So I hit up this dude by phone and warned him of this um, imminent danger. I clearly explained exactly how he was going to be defrauded, but he went and reported this to his Sangoma who told him that evil spirits were trying to ruin his party. He would go on to lose 1.5 million, his house cast, and his marriage falling apart. Please understand that the more things change, the more they stay the same. The moment you believe in the impossible, you are a sitting duck waiting to be eaten. 
Most victims would have been defrauded at least more than once already. It's akin um, to one f uh, frequenting the casino hoping that one day is one day. Churches to defraud believers, banks, insurance companies, hospitals, organ trades, jewelers, food industry, the list goes on. Having grown up in the streets, I developed capable instincts and, and uh, antennas that help me navigate the world. Oh, antennas. Okay. I'm not an easy customer. Did you know? That when you hosted Gogo Manzini, you just endorsed the very same crooks that were, to, uh, that were talking about. You can't convince me that you're unaware of that, Owami. I don't know what on earth that is. Okay. Law enforcement is inundated with countless cases of this sort and they're tired. They've warned people, but the spirit of greed has taken a stronghold on people. Nothing is ever enough as it seems. For your information, so many Ugandans have been sentenced and are serving lengthy punishment behind bars. Others have been killed by angry mobs and others just vanished. The war shall never be won until the mind is liberated. Therefore, the best you can do now is educate and spread awareness. The Muti Shop. Have you noticed the thousands of these shops strewn all over SA? Most are owned and, ra and run by Ugandans. They are selling diwasho. You think, well, that's where half of the pot be, uh, begin plot begins. You go to buy in Pepo, but before you know it, you're being told funny stories about your life. A quick one and two leads to a rabbit hole and boom. House gone, severance package, allowance cars, family, and in worst cases, suicide. I know what I know because these things are disguised openly amongst or discussed openly amongst us. Female victims are getting scarce, so these guys are now targeting the gay community. What? For money, even the anus is not off limits. In the multi shop, Ugandan women will um, mesmerize SA men and give them the best sex ever. Guy goes to buy multi for sex power or penis enlargement. She will tell him that for the multi to work, he must sex her. He complies and she Fs him like no woman has ever done before. Massage, blowjob, young into. Next man develops feelings. It's taken to talk to ancestors and the rest you already know. I don't know you... Um, sorry, I, I don't think you stand a chance to eradicate this vice. Just as the war of drugs, human trafficking, corporate fraud, um, corruption um, have and continue uh, to main our people. Have you asked yourself why many South Africans are all of, um, are all of a sudden sangomas? This too is a scam and it annoys me to see our people being foolish. Who is me? Put simply, I'm a businessman and a strong believer in um, hard but smart work. There are no shortcuts to achieving wealthy crowns. I believe too that um, causing pain to another bears the same to the culprit. Karma is real as they say. I am empathetic to the next person and I hate to cause one to have to wish they were dead because of my actions. Best wishes. I have seen you grow in limbs and bounds. You have inspired many, including me. And I wish you the very best for the future. May you be graceful and impact lives um, all over the world. Signing off and, of course, uh, the, the, the name, obviously. Wow. Ciao. As I said, like, it's hot, but ciao. Literally... What this guy actually just sent me, guys, it makes so much sense. And I'll go ahead and explain to you. Almost everyone, guys, that I actually um has actually come to my DMs, the were scammed by a man that lives in a house, not an apartment. Like 95% of the women that I came, they were scammed by a man that lives in a house. Well, more than that, maybe probably 98%, I should say. They were scammed by a man that lives in a house. Now, it makes sense, guys, why the, the, this man would be living in houses. Because in a house, you can dig a hole. Unlike an apartment. Like, you can't dig a hole here. 
because if you dig down then it goes to the somebody downstairs do you understand what i'm saying so you can't dig a hole that's why i think that they avoid apartments i was really asking myself why is it that all these women are saying that this man they live in houses that actually are um excess gate controlled like why so now it makes sense is because for them to dig a hole it has to be a house that's the first thing. The second thing that I'm going to go ahead and say is that from what I found out, obviously, these are all allegations I'm going to say, is that there's a kingpin that actually rents out these houses for these guys. Um, and so what happens is, let's say like, you know, this Owami, this, I'm going to just say someone that, you know, you know, let's say it's Owami, it's Jabu, right? Um, Owami and Jabu, they're both love scammers. So we have got like a boss, let's say maybe our boss is like Sims, right? Um, and Sims Wright is the one that will go and rent houses for us, right? Um, from what we hear, Sims Wright runs a printing company. There is one victim who was the lady that got scammed uh, 860,000 rents that did say that the guy that she was with um, actually said that, oh, you know, um, I know about printing company. The printing company exists. The only difference is that it belongs to the kingpin, right? And so what they do is that this whole thing of us where we go and we photocopy our IDs, they keep copies, guys. So let's say you want uh, uh, three copies. They will make four copies. So now they've got your ID. They've got your details. They create fraud. What they do is that they, they cook these papers and they go out there and they rent houses. So we might be sitting here and you, you, there's a house that is rented under your name and you don't even know. They pay. So there's really no need for them to get like the red alarm and stuff. That's why they've been able to move so swiftly because if you have got a tenant that is paying you every month mostly you don't have a think of oh let me go and check if this person's papers are real or not because for the person to get approved in the first place you thought that it was real which obviously that's fraud right sharp so basically what they do is that um they 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 rent these houses so now it makes sense that okay it's because they want to dig the hole so that when you enter the ancestor is already in the like underground this literally just makes my blood run, okay? So, what actually happens is that, as I was saying, let's say it's Owami and then it's Jabu. So, I obviously, let's say I have got my own victim that I'm scamming. I will bring them to my house, you know. Obviously, it's fully finished. Everything looks beautiful. Everything looks fine. And then, the moment I scam you, what happens is that Owami and Jabu switches houses. So, when, now when you go to the house where let's say i scammed you you come to my to this house when you come here you're not gonna get a one you're gonna get jabu and jabu is gonna be like no the previous tenant actually moved out i don't know who they are i don't know where they went i just moved in so obviously you're sitting there like okay that's a new tenant can kind of these people guys they know each other they're working together so they switch like that this one scams finishes to scam they switch they move with the furniture they move because obviously it would look suspicious if you are coming and i'm like no it's my place yet the place it looks exactly the same you know that something is off so these people move with furniture so um you know whatever furniture i have here i'm gonna move with it to the next house and then that's exactly how they do um and the other thing again that i did here that they actually do is that the same house can be used to scam like five ten women at the same time so when you come on tuesday Day, this one comes on Wednesday, this one comes on Thursday, this one comes like they take turns, and so all these women they think would oh okay, you know, I mean my men's place is beautiful and stuff, can they know? It's a it's a it's a whole syndicate that is actually working here. So <sighs> I used to think that maybe there's like a voice recording that is actually put in there and then it's a phone because it would make no sense. Some people are saying that no, these are pre-recorded because i'm like how would they now know that this is what you now have to say you're gonna ask for them to answer and so i used to think that maybe they actually have a phone and then they have a speaker and then they put it somewhere there and then obviously you are there and then they're talking they listen then they talk back but with the victims that i've actually spoken to they do say that the voice seems very much real like the way that we're talking in the room which now makes sense because this nigga is literally underground this is scary, guys. This is scary. And I think that is why they all have a sponge. So I think that maybe that's where the, 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 the ancestor is basically hiding. And then now, with this whole narration of they dig a hole so that the person can be able to enter, I do remember I did ask um, our previous guest, 
the one that got scammed over 2 million rands. Um, and I was asking her to say, okay, with the pot, because she said that at first the pot was actually like empty. Sorry guys, my battery actually died. But um, yeah, as I'm saying guys, that it actually makes sense why these guys rent houses, you know? Um, and also the, the, the whole part of someone being underground, it makes sense because if you think about it, all the three victims that I have um, interviewed, at one point, they were told to leave the room, the prayer room. Um, or I would say the two that God loves came to the prayer room. They were both told to leave the prayer room. Um, they were told to leave the money and then they leave, get out. And when they went back, the money was not there. Yet nobody entered the room or left. So it means that the moment that they leave, <laughs> the ancestor crawls. From the bottom of hell, mm -hmm, underground, takes the money and goes back uh, there. And then after that, when you go back there, the ancestor is now talking. This is absolutely wild. So basically, what Anonymous is saying is that these Ugandan guys, guys, they don't have any power. They don't have any power. They're not having any muti that they're using. All this is basically just um, mind game. I'm shook. I'm really honestly shook. So I think that right now, if there's anything that I can go ahead and just add on is to say, please, please guys, share these videos, share all these videos, right? Um, let's get the word out there. He did also say that knowledge is the one that can basically help us all. Um, and so for me, um, or rather he's actually also saying that most of this uh, you know, shops where they sell in paper and, 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 they're ran by Ugandans and that's like a front, you know, their main business literally is scamming people, which is obviously something that is very sad. He also did touch on something where he was talking about how now due to the fact that obviously it seems like women are now waking up, they are now targeting the gay community. And I do have a guy that actually is gay. And he did write to me to say that, oh, I, mean, I was love scammed by a Ugandan man. I'm still going to have a, 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 an interview with him. Um, and so now, like, child, this is just crazy. For me, this is just honestly wild. Honestly wild. And so this is a whole production. This is a whole production. This is something that a lot of people sat down, planned, came up with the plan. And then... As a community, you're going to laugh at one woman that was against a group of men and women. And a plan that has been in place for years. You are not beating this unless you have got the information. I know that, okay, there's an aspect of greed. We can talk about it to say, okay, there's greed, shapo, I get that. But I can also go ahead and say that, guys, who is in their right mind is going to see money? And they say, we're going to give you and not believe. Unless you know something. Unless you know something. Most of us guys would fall in the scam. Because it's money, it's cash you're seeing. And the trick about the, um, you know, the teens, obviously I did say to say, I, I do think they switch. And it's true. They actually do switch. Um, but with the money part... If you're seeing a lot of cash over there and they're like, that's your money, you can this and this, you need to do this, many people can literally fall for that trick. So I think that, yes, there is an element of greed. I'm not going to lie. However, I also think that there's also just an element of human. Like, I'm a human and I want money. And if money is here and they are saying that they can give me the money and most times many people will literally fall for it you understand and so i think that what i'm trying to say is that can we not be so hard on people that have been scammed they're already going through a lot they're already going through a lot there are people that literally are on the verge of taking their own lives um i do also have to share that you know our, our last um um victim <sighs> I think after maybe like talking about it and maybe seeing some of you guys' comments, she really was not coping, guys. I had to get a psychologist that actually called her and she's still going to be following up with her. So your comments, they also do like have an impact. I don't even want to lie, guys. As I said, I will be blocking, but 
can you just be human as well? Can you just be human? So basically, guys, obviously, this is what we got right now. Um, I think when he was talking about Gogo Manzini, obviously, I, I'm, I'm having like episodes on Oami Entertainment where Gogo Manzini tells us about the stuff that are done and, 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 because I think that at this point, like the Songoma world is just wild. You understand? Same as like the fake prophet's world you understand and so obviously i'm intrigued i'm interested i wanted to find out and we do talk about this stuff so we just sit down and have a conversation that's it and so oxala you guys whether we have the conversation or not people are still going to some of us so we might as well also hear like what is going on we've been learning about uh love potions and 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 so basically that is that i think that i just had to address that but you know obviously we're gonna pass on that but i think that for me at this point i think it's very very important that as a person you be careful please be very careful especially with your money Please be very careful. So those that are going to say, oh, but I was also love scammed by a guy that is like in an apartment. They are saying that they actually build like they can maybe with the same wall, they can be able to build a, a, a wall that looks exactly like they paint, like they put sort of like boards, but you won't see it. It looks like a wall, right? And then they paint it the same color. Can, there's actually an opening where the person is able to slide in and they're standing up straight behind the wall like this, an actual wall. And then that's where the voice comes from and everything basically. Um, but I think that the reason why they also use these houses is because, and they switch them and whatever is because it's easier. Like once one schema is gone, the other one comes in, they don't need to dig the same hole that they're gonna use do you understand because most of the time the ancestor is the same person for so many people um and so it really honestly is just something that is actually quite wild as we said they are a syndicate guys so please please make sure that guys you share these videos make sure that you sit down talk to your mothers these guys have no shame guys the older you are the better because they know that your pension fund is actually more i will also actually give you guys um you know this last uh, uh thing before i actually um you know sign out um there's a lady that actually came to my dms and she was basically talking about how she got love scammed and so obviously you know she got swindled i think over six hundred thousand rands for sure um and then she sent me the picture of the guy and lord and behold it's the same guy that scammed another woman because they sent their pictures and I'm like, damn, I take that picture. And the reason why I actually remembered that guy properly and I still had his picture is because I do remember once that lady actually sent me his picture. I did forward it to my sister, like, you know, my sister inventor. And I was like, look at this guy and he's so handsome. You can't even suspect. The guy is very handsome. I do have to say. And so we discussed him and we were talking, laughing, not laughing, but basically just talking about how he's like a scammer, but, you know, he doesn't even look it. Okay, Sha, but this lady sends me and I'm like, damn, it's the same guy. But guys, he looked so different. They even changed the way they dress. The other side, he was dressed almost like a biker-ish guy, so, you know, um, someone like, you know, I don't know, man, street guy. And then with this other woman, guys, this is a guy that is wearing buttoned up t-shirts. He's having vests on top. Literally, this guy even had glasses. Like, it's a whole new look. These guys actually missed the opportunity. They should have been actors. I'm telling you, you know. And so basically what happened was that with her, she says that he never touched her in terms of they never slept together. And so I was like, okay, so if that is the case, then how did he scam you? you know, what was the trick that he used? So she said that from the first week, the guy said, you know, I'm so in love with you, engaged her. He found out that she's actually HIV positive, but she's on ARVs. And if you guys know, if someone is actually on their medication, like, you know, they become undetectable. So you can still engage in sexual intercourse with protection, obviously. Um, but I guess that the guy, obviously, because remember, these guys are not educated. Most of them, they're not. You know, they're not educated. They're not too smart. They're just thief smart um not even thief smart they just have a plan that's working because they've been duping women for years and women have not been talking um so basically what happened was that he he she said that when she went to his house because it's always a house guys it's always a house when she went to his house um there was a woman there that was dressed um in black clothes and you know 
you know, and saying that she's the auntie, blah, blah, blah. And she set them down like, yeah, you know, my children. She's sort of like a spiritual auntie. Like, and then she said that um, you cannot have sex before marriage. And then they go into the prayer room. The ancestor says the same. You're going to be blessed. There's this and this. You just need to keep to one rule. You guys cannot sleep together. So you guys can actually see that these people said and they discussed. Oh, she's HIV positive. I don't want to sleep with her. And then obviously the ancestor now got the vibe to say, oh, I'm going to say um, no sleeping together up until marriage. And that's what the lady said. And that lady that got scammed, she basically said anytime she went to the house, that guy, that uh, auntie, that woman was there. Without fail, without fail, she was there and she was making sure that nothing happens. And then after that, uh, she claims that the guy like basically pretended as if, sorry, he actually really wanted to be with her. Like he wanted to sleep with her, but he couldn't because the auntie and also the ancestor. And then she was like, the only thing we did was kiss. And so this is just one of those stuff that I just want to show you guys to say they have tricks for everything because they sit down and they discuss. You understand? In discussing, they are able to say, okay, we need to bring in a woman because obviously the ancestor is supposed to be an unliving being. You can't see the ancestor. The ancestor is only in the prayer room. So what stops? Like maybe this woman, if she wants to now sleep with him, what excuse is he going to have? So they had to make a decision. Okay, with this one, we need to bring in this woman. Because as I said, the guy scammed another woman. And with that woman, they used to go out on dates. They used to do everything that they were doing and there was no uh you know auntie that was there you get it because she's negative so you just need to be very careful out there if you have got any questions please do make sure that you comment down below i'm sure that if there's anything that i've missed i'll also think about it as i have this phone call um and so yeah basically that is that please don't forget to obviously like share and subscribe to the channel um, and please tell me, guys, what other tricks do you actually know? The more and more we're actually doing these videos, we're actually exposing how this syndicate is actually working. And then obviously more and more people will get information. And hopefully this nonsense is going to stop. Because, ciao, when I sit here and I tell you guys that millions and millions and millions of rents, others are also um, alleging it's allegations that they're also working with people that are capturing the money to make sure that these pension funds, they come out faster. I don't know how true that is, but child, it's a dog, it's dog world. I'm telling you. But anyway, ninjas, I love you guys. Stay blessed. And yeah, from Mom and Ninja, I love you guys. Stay blessed. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye, ninjas.